Hold on. Hey Siri, who is the actor that plays Wolverine? You son of a bitch. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. <laughs> Siri! Wait, did you offend her and she's like doing silent mode? Oh, shit. Who is the actor that plays Ryan Rip? No, God, no! Ah! <laughs> Alright Rex, it's Boxing Day, and I accidentally invited the entire internet to my house for Boxing Day. <laughs> Did you? During the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the live stream. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, this is a gift from Jason Unsworth, who's now... Is he? No, he's still a bastard. Jason Unsworth, you magnificent bastard! This is Elijah Craig, and uh, and I've got a story about Elijah Craig, and it's irony. Mm -hmm. Irony. That was the that's the Italian pronunciation. <laughs> it's irony. This is hold on. I've been listing off the reasons for Daniel why we don't why we don't need to shoot in the morning. Yeah, this is the one energy's of them. bad. The light is bad. I'm tired. We have empty stomachs. Yes, with, and any amount of whiskey. It's gonna make it really sloppy. No. Morning shoots are not, and we've been shooting morning shoots for months. Yeah, we should Did change you that. It? Yes, we changed it no, for you. you no, you no, did. no. It it works better for my schedule if we shoot in the morning. I have schedules too. It's high, it's highly superior. We haven't even talked about the fact that we're drinking Elijah Craig bourbon yet, oh, hey. and we're three minutes in, four minutes in. <laughs> 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 Happy Boxing Day, everybody! That's what happens when you're watching videos on Boxing Day. Uh, okay, Rex, what are you smelling? I've smelled. How's like, the nose? It smells like you're right. This is better than hanging out with your family. <laughs> <laughs> better than hanging out with your family. Okay, so uh, cherry and oak, really prominent cherry, and a uh, prominent oak too. Some sugar on top. You straight. Grain sugar on top of cherry on top of oak. Yeah, there's I classic agree. classic bourbon. It does feel uh, like one thing too. And there's then, not this movement of the nose. It doesn't progress. It's just right. one really dense nose. It's got a thin vanilla coating around all of that. Yeah, it's and it's very dense. The oh. smell is very dense. Yeah, it's the honestly, honestly. I started out with thin. Go back to the nose again. The more I go back to the nose, the cherry diminishes and the vanilla becomes more prominent. I'm acclimating to the cherry, not to the vanilla. Yeah, it gets sweeter as you go. Yeah, and the um the still haven't tasted it yet. The oak is just it's it's consistent. And this is high proof. I'm having a hard time really getting behind no. sixty two point one percent. Yeah. Hundred and twenty four proof. That's an, no the alcohol that's amazing. The alcohol is is for real. So here's the idea. This is a release from Elijah Craig where they're doing uncut straight from the barrel whiskey. Okay. So it's the closest, like what we're doing with Eleanor, where it's, hey, it's a, we dump it from the barrel, we bottle it, end of discussion. Right. We're not filtering anything out, we're not proofing it down, it's just, this is the closest you're gonna get to going to Elijah Craig and trying a barrel sample. Although we did, we, we have started putting Eleanor in uh, finishing casks. Yeah, but we also, we haven't cut it. And we'll probably still bottle it at cask strength. You think? Oh, I don't know, man. I think the ones that are going into finishing cask. We might need to try some things. I think we need to figure out is cask strength the ideal proof for the flavor. For the flavor, that'll be the first time we've ever attempted uh, cutting things. So we'll see. I don't know. I think just for the finishing option. Mm -hmm. Just for the finishing option. I'm okay with that because here's what's going to happen. Like the um, the Blairs. What's his name? The Jimmy Leg. Mm -hmm. Jimmy freaking Leg. Blair. He's gonna be like, oh, I'll just do gas strength and I'll put it, I'll add water to, to my... Uh, Myself. But nobody else is gonna do that. I mean, it's gonna be a really, really, really small minority <coughs> of people that actually bother to add water. They're just gonna drink it as is. Yeah. And I'm thinking we're gonna be doing the most uh, benefit to the most people if we prove it to the place where it's supposed to be. I still think we're gonna be... We'll just have to send Jimmy Leg a little tiny bottle sample of the uncut <laughs> Yeah. I like here. <laughs> here. I still think we're probably going to end up being high 40s, low 50s, but we'll see. We'll experiment. We don't have to just decide now. Back to the review. So the taste is weird. It started sweet and then immediately went barrel bitter. I mean, this is Ooh, hot. this is hot, peppery, yeah. tannic. 
Um, Whoa, so go ahead. Uh, no, it, it's so it unfurls in the same pattern as a hot pepper. Uh, if you ever eat a jalapeno, is that what you were gonna say? Unfurls. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, so on the nose, it's like a consistent. It's a thing. Mm -hmm. On the taste, totally moment by moment, and switching it up and it's changing. It's a really hot cherry, and then it turns that cherry. You can feel it over the course of two or three seconds, turning into a hot pepper. Yeah. So you know how when you first bite a hot pepper, you're like, oh, I can taste pepper. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of crisp and nice. And then about three seconds later, you're like, oh, it's growing. Yeah. Oh. And then, and then it just sort of keeps rolling up. You're like, oh, I got a little out of control here. So if you are used to high proof whiskeys and you, you're not afraid of that burn. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. And this isn't nearly as predictable or classic on the taste as I was expecting. It's also for 62%. Okay, let's just assume that you're used to cast strength. Yeah. At 62%, this is unbelievably drinkable. Mm -hmm. This is not like stag where it's 60 something percent that tries to beat the shit out of you. Right. This is definitely cast strength and yeah. it definitely has a burn. Now, this is assuming you're used to drinking cask strength whiskey. Right. If you're not, this is gonna punch you in the face. Right. If you are, you're gonna think, oh, that's really nice and kind of sweet behind all of that burn. Yeah. And the last, last note I'm left with on the finish is sugared oak. Mm-hmm. It's definitely a woody aftertaste. Yeah. I'm going to add a little bit of water to mine. I'm, I'm liking this a little bit better than I thought I would. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Here, what's weird is Elijah Craig is a really famous brand, mm -hmm. but I've never attached it in my brain to something that I look forward to. So I, I always attach it to a brand in terms of when it comes to mass market brands. You know it's good. You know it's good. It's one of those mass market brands where you're like, yeah, it's respectable. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be it's gonna be decent, it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be good. But it's not something you crave or think like, I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna get a lighter track. Yeah. But this, this is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um bourbon barrel question from MD Amazing. <laughs> MD, MD Amazing. <laughs> Sorry, that's just really funny. Uh, the requirement for new charred oak barrels seems to put a sort of limit on the base flavor it can imbue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are there any distilleries um, or their barrel providers harvesting their oak from a specific microbiome to impart different flavor? Like the barrels are made solely from swampy, arid, outwash, plain, brackish, Brackish, etc. So There's, no, because good wow. oak doesn't really grow in those kinds of areas. Bio. But uh, what I will tell you is that typically <clears throat> the bigger guys they're getting their barrels from the same company who handles the contract for them, and those companies are getting their the wood from the same forests in the same areas. Yeah, and you do need it to be a healthy tree. Yeah. A healthy white oak. Uh, otherwise, you're going to run into some barrel problems there. Now, there's been but a lot that's of... a really interesting question, though. The, here's the thing where America can switch it up. Even though we're stuck with new oak, we can switch up yeast and mash bill, which leads to a huge amount of different flavor profiles. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Scotland's limited. Hold on. Even more limited. Mash bill, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeast. Yeast? Yeah, absolutely. Because early back in the day, many months ago, we were kind of questioning how much of an impact yeast could make because well, in Scotland they're just it's sitting next to the porta potty and they're yeah, and well, it in there. In Scotland they actually have a requirement on the yeast they can use. It's, uh, it's a single yeast strain. Okay. Whereas in America, I think coming a little bit more from the beer environment yeah. and from the craft. trying things in the craft, you can just I mean what uh, TX Bourbon is doing a pecan yeast. Right, a pecan tree based wild yeast, really? right? Yeah. And so uh, there's all kinds of cool shit going on in America. So does yeast affect it the way that a barrel does? No, nowhere near the same percentage. Mm. But it definitely changes the flavor profile of what goes into the bar barrel, thus allowing the barrel to make flavor changes. So yeah, I still feel like because of peat and finishing casks and and styles of pot still. Right. The variations of Scottish whiskey flavors are really broad. Yeah. And bourbon using column, finishing pot, and things like that are a little bit more narrow, but it's not like we have no choices. Mash bill and yeast are pretty big choices. I've gone back to this a few more times. The first initial pass, the rush of that first uh, two sips, it was, a, it was a wild ray. 
I think maybe because of the super high proof, I've acclimated to it. And now smell that. And now this is fairly predictable. Not nearly as many flavors. It's not going on a grand adventure. You're about to change your mind. I added just a little dash of water and opened up black tea, like Earl Grey. Yeah. Changed it completely. How, mu how much water did you add? I added uh, maybe four or five drops. Yeah, that definitely changed the character of the whiskey. Uh, whiskey. So, I would sit, get the first few, I cast strength, uh, go on the funky adventure, and then once you acclimate and it's just predictable, add a few drops of water. I like it way better. As a matter of fact, I like it. It's actually now barrel spice, heavy vanilla, yeah. and then a little bit of metallic finish. Haters give me STR. It probably means strength. Oh, because STR is... What, whatever doesn't kill you makes you strong. Haters give me strength. <laughs> they, don't, they don't... I just... Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to a philosophical discussion now? Yeah, it's just it's like, I don't really... Fair enough. They don't really register for me. I was, <laughs> I was looking for the nice people. Speaking of, there's this one guy. It's like Captain Underpants or something. And I keep seeing him in the comments. Captain Underpants? Oh, something. I keep seeing him in the, in the comments. Okay. And he keeps making really sh comments about me. About you? Yes, but I know what he... I, here's the thing, though. I know he's trying to go down this, this path of ball busting. Okay. Good nature ball, good nature ball busting. Right. Because, you know... It's not Captain Ron, is it? No, it's not Captain Ron. Okay, because Captain Ron sent us some whiskey. Because we're all about good nature ball busting. Right. But every time I read the comments, it's like, I see what you're, see what you're trying to do. It's just not funny. You're just, you, if you're, you're going to ball bust, it has, to, it be has funny. to be funny. It has to be funny. Otherwise, it's not. It Otherwise, it's like, oh, that's just. <laughs> okay, here's an example. Right. Tommy Boy. Does this tie make my, does this tie make me look fat? No, your face does. <laughs> that's funny, right? Yeah. Now, however, you're fat. Yeah. Yeah. Not funny. Exactly. <laughs> right? That's the difference. Why did you look at me when you said that? <laughs> I was giving you an ex example of something, Rex. You looked right at me in the eyes, and you said you're fat. I was just trying to emotionally connect with you, Rex. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's funny. Haters give me strength. <laughs> this one is for all the single malt connoisseurs out there. Okay. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> On a serious note, I love trying out different blended whiskeys. Yes. If you have recommendations, uh, recommendations that I haven't tried out yet, leave a comment. If you're curious of my opinion, ask anything too. I tried lots of blended goodies recently. Well, I mean, anything compass box, obviously. Wait. But, but, yeah. Uh, in our section, look up here, you can see things we've tried. Black bottle, yes. Monkey shoulder, yeah. Uh, good beginner. Yeah. Smoking is good. Uh, black snake is good, although that's a single malt, so forget that one. It's racist. Um, black bull, really good. Sheep dip and pig's nose, both really good. Anything from Douglas Lang, all of their visions like Scallywag and Rock Oyster and Timorous Beastie. Uh, there's some good stuff out there, man. Yeah. There's good things to be had. All right, New Year's coming soon. You got any resolutions? Apparently my resolution is to lose weight. My resolution Daniel. is to stop working as much as I have been so that I don't have an emotional breakdown. I've been telling you to do that for like years. Maybe three years. I've been telling you to do that for years. Yeah. And at a certain point, you're just like, he's not going to listen to me. Yeah. Just let him do it. Let That's him do problem. what he's going to do. Like, but I tried to help. He's not going to do it. There's anything. a light on the horizon. It's right. happening. All right. So that's my New Year's resolution. <laughs> uh, my New Year's resolution is to give you a lot of my work. <clears throat> so I can work less. So I finally achieved, like... I have a healthy lifestyle, everybody. And Rex is like, here, hold this. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.